Okay, so you want to write an if formula for percentages within a range. So I want to grade my students based on this grading system. 0 to 9% gets a G, 10 to 24% gets an F, etc. So let's see how this can be done. Now the first thing you should note is don't use if for this solution. You're much better using VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP. So what I've done here is create a little table that expresses the percentage ranges. Now, if you're using VLOOKUP, these percentages need to be in ascending order. And the way VLOOKUP will read this is that the first range is 0 to 9%. So it's the first value up to one less than the second value. The second range will be 10% to 24%. So it's the same thing, first value to one less than the second value. Now, normally when we use VLOOKUP, we use it as an exact match lookup, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use this as an approximate match lookup or what Excel calls an approximate match lookup. So what I'm doing is I'm looking up Bob's percentage value, comma, in this table array, which I'd need to lock. And I'm doing that with the F4 key. That puts $4 in that range reference. If F4 doesn't work for you, type the dollars in as you see them there, comma. My column index number is two because I want to borrow values from the second column within this table, comma. And then normally what you do here is you put false for exact match, but we want true for approximate match. Now if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see if I copy this down, I get the correct grade for these percentages. It's looked up 15%, for example, in the range 10 to 24% and returned the F grade. Now, Excel calls this an approximate match, but that's really a bad description of what it does. It's actually doing an exact match or next smallest item. You'll see how that is true. So if I take 15% again, there is no exact match for it. So it goes to the next smallest item, which is 10%, which gives you an F grade. Now VLOOKUP actually performs this type of lookup by default. So you can actually get away with not typing true in there or using this last non-mandatory argument. So if I just close the formula with the col index number there, copy it down, you'll see it still works. Now, if you've got a scenario where you actually want to return an exact match or next largest item, so in other words, 15% would get an E rather than an F, you can't use VLOOKUP for that, but you can use XLOOKUP. So if I type XLOOKUP in this column, I'm looking up this percentage value, comma. Now I don't have a table array with XLOOKUP. I have a lookup array, which is the column I'm trying to cross-reference these percentages in. And I need to lock that with F4 on my keyboard. Comma, return array, these grades over here. Also need to lock that. If not found, I don't need. So I can type in two commas to skip over that argument. And then I'm on to match mode. So this is where I get the option for exact match or next larger item. Exact match or next smaller item is what VLOOKUP was doing, but XLOOKUP gives this additional option. So if I close the bracket, press enter, and copy this down. You'll see it works. However, for my grading system, Anything that's 90% above gets an A star star, and I don't have another grade threshold, which is why I'm getting these NAs. But that's just a limitation of the scenario that I'm looking at. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.